You know, well, I'm really hooked on barbecue. No, wait, I'm hooked on barbecue. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. We got a special guest again this week. Will Hooked on Barbecue is here. Hi, Will. What's up, Ron? Not too much, man. So, <laughs> Will is coming to us from New Jersey, but right outside of Pennsylvania. So, we're going to take his traditional thing that he loves to cook. We're going to turn it into a Philly cheesesteak style thing. A pinwheel, right? It's awesome. You I guys can't are going to love it. What's, what's involved in it? What's in it? Well, the best thing about this, you think of a Philly cheesesteak, you think of that rich beef flavor, you think yeah. of the onions, yeah. the cheese, yeah. and it all melts together. Yeah. It's and all just together. because we're a little controversial, yes. we're going to add some peppers into it. Oh, is that legal? Oh. I'm not sure, Ron. All right, so we're going to do something that I know that you cook a lot of, right? And that's a pinwheel. Absolutely. So what exactly is a pinwheel? So the pinwheel is you can basically take, um, you can take strip steak or flank steak. You can take oh. anything, really. Well, I happen to have this beautiful prime flank steak here from Haltemans Meats. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. It's already pretty thin. We're going to pound it thinner and make it bigger. We'll Perfect. layer it with cheese, but we're going to, what, saute down or, or braise down some onions and peppers first in what? In some beer. Whoa, yingling beer straight out of Pennsylvania. There we go. Oh, we're on that PA <laughs> kick, baby. Absolutely. All right, I think it's time to start chopping, right? Should we do that first or what? I think before we get that going, Ron, uh -huh. we should probably get the grill fired up, get the plancha ready to go, because that's going to take a little while to eat. Plancha? What's a plancha? We're going to do the steak over top of that. Okay. For the vegetables. Cool. We're going to do it in a separate pan. Nice. All right, so like I said, I kind of developed my own little way of doing this, because with this, with this plancha here, with the expander system in here, it doesn't fit because of the handles. But what we can do is I went a little innovative here. We just take this and simply turn it upside down, okay? And set it in here like that. It fits in there perfectly. And now, the plancha can sit right in there. Now, Will says that we wanted to get this thing pretty hot. We want that plancha hot for when we cook these pinwheels on it. So we're using our Fogo grilling charcoal, the black bag. Really good for high temperature grilling. Absolutely. So that's what we want to do is use black bag. Perfect for this. All right, the grill's all configured. So now time to start chopping. How do you like to chop them? What do you, what do you, what's your method here? I think what I would do for this cook is uh -huh. we definitely want more of the onions okay. versus the peppers. All right. So let's start with the peppers since we're going to do less of those. And then we're going to just chop them up. This is your Perfect. deal. I'm going to let you do it. All right, let's go. And for a little kick, we're going to add some Tina Cannon rub onto here. Just sprinkle it right over the veggies as they cook down. That's going to add a bunch of flavor in there. All right, Will, so I know we got a flank steak here, right? This yep. is from Haltemans Family Meats again, right? Correct, yep. All right, awesome. A Pennsylvania company. So that's why I wanted to keep this kind of Pennsylvania friendly here. So let's check it out. Now, this is kind of, it's a little bit smaller of a flank steak, really, than what I'm used to seeing. So we kind of pre-discussed this. And what are we going to do to this baby? So what... Basically, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna pound it down. Okay. Um, and then after that, we're gonna add the ingredients and then go ahead and, and roll that out. Now, real simple, all we're gonna do is pull this off of here now that that's done. And actually, I could probably just put the plancha right on there. Look at that. Perfect the mundo. Will told me to get all the liquids out of here. So, give it a little shake like that, get them dried, because they're gonna be inside the meat. Now we're gonna season the, the steak. We're using yellow cheddar for this. We want a lot of cheese, right? Definitely a lot. The more the merrier. I like it. Because it's gonna melt in the grill and it's gonna be absolutely perfect. All right, so we're gonna take these onions and the peppers that have been simmered in that delicious yingling lager and that's gonna add some awesome flavor into this. And you can smell those herbs and all those flavors coming together. All right, so what we're gonna do is start with one end, and what you wanna do is roll it together, but you wanna keep things as tight as possible. It's so beautiful. Now, Will, you kinda told me that we wanna like tie it in between where we're gonna cut. So Absolutely. what I'm envisioning is one, two, three pieces, is that right? Exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna put my first piece of twine about there. That's perfect. All right, so am I correct in saying I'm gonna run it underneath first, right? Right underneath. Okay. It will so, stay. So, Will, now, with this kind of sticking out the end, should I try and push that in there a little bit more? Yeah, first? you want to yeah. push that in there, and okay. then at that point, we're going to tie it down. Okay. And hopefully, everything stays together. So, just kind of, you can even kind of use your fingers, really, and just kind of push it in a little further, right? So, exactly. you have as much filling inside of it as possible. All right, good. Now, the grill's at 450, but if you want to know how hot your plancha should be, 
All right, when you take some water, it should dance. See that? I mean, it just dances, literally. You can pour some on. You see it just dance? I mean, it comes right off. It doesn't even stay there and sizzle. It just comes right off. That is how hot you want your plancha. All right, so the only thing we're gonna really season this with, we've seasoned the inside with Tina's rub. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this Jacobson's ghost, ghost garlic salt. It's hot garlic salt. And just sprinkle it across. A little seasoning, okay? We're gonna probably, once we cut it open, maybe we'll season the inside too. So the thing is, what we're gonna do here is we wanna slick the surface of this plancha. And you can do it many different ways, but the best way to do this is with some Wagyu beef tallow. Yep. It just you adds some great flavor. So we're just gonna dip it, take some tallow, spread it around. It's perfect. So like I said, we're gonna let Will put these on here. Go ahead, Will, and show us how to cook these. All right, so what I like to do is start with the flat side first, and we're just gonna put it face down right on the grill. All right, so we're just gonna turn this over. So now this part has already been grilled and that part is the part we haven't grilled so yet. You're basically just rolling it then. And exactly, yeah, we're just gonna do an even cook the whole way around. All right, so we're gonna try and make some garlic crostinis. We got some garlic butter here. Just get a little spread, you don't have to overload it. So we're just gonna plop these down on here for just a minute, not too long, we don't wanna burn them. Just wanna give them a nice little color. You were telling me that you would like to, we should maybe turn them on the side and give them a, a slice in half. I think that'd be awesome. All right, so let's give this a shot here. That's nice. <laughs> Sharp knives help here, folks. Definitely. And you don't wanna push the stuff out, so just kinda let the knife do the work. You're not pushing down too hard. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice, medium, rare, that is it's I pretty believe good. they call that money. I think That's they refer to that as money. Pretty darn good. All right, so I'm gonna put one right on here. Make a little crostini out of it. Look at that. Definitely cheesy. Woo! Ooh. Do you mean me or the, uh, the pinwheels? A little bit of both. Okay, <laughs> right. Look at that. Now, did those that look good, good or what? It's pretty good. Huh? All right, well, our pinwheels are done are and awesome. they look awesome. So I hope you don't mind, but I think I had a good idea. I'm gonna finish them off with just a little bit of this ghost pepper habanero uh, oh, yeah. garlic salt here. All right, so I'm gonna say, I know they're gonna be delicious. They may not be the most beautiful things we've ever cooked at this point, but I know the onions, the peppers, the cheese, and that awesome flank steak from Holland, it's gonna be fantastic. So we made these little garlic bread crostinis here. We'll probably cut this even a little too thick for this, but I think there's only one thing left to do, and that's to give them a good. taste. Are you down for tasting these now? I'm down. All right. Let's go. Cheers, my Cheers. brother. Here we go. <laughs> really good. Man, it's good. That was really good. It ain't pretty. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say it right now, it ain't pretty. It's not, but, but it tastes phenomenal. Oh my God, those are tastes Wow. Good. That was outstanding. We, we kind of went back and forth on what to do with the bread. You know, we decided on like a garlic bread crostini and I'm so glad we did. It's nice and crunchy on the outside. Gives a little more texture, texture right? Yeah, absolutely. that's exactly what I yep. thought too. And the, the, I mean, the steak is just outstanding. It's perfect. But, now, I know peppers, <laughs> they're not normally part of a- Cheese steak. Right, they're not normally part of a Philly cheese steak, but, the addition to the peppers, what do you think? It gives it a nice little pop of flavor. Right, just and, that. And the color is awesome on this. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It helps a lot. But I mean, that extra bite of flavor, that extra color, it, it absolutely looks beautiful. Listen, this may not have been the most beautiful thing we've ever cooked. I get <laughs> it, I know. But it makes an outstanding, excuse me. <clears throat> but it makes an outstanding little crostini right here. The Dogs. flavors really meld together. I want to thank Absolutely. Haltman Meats, first of all. Thank you. There's, there's a link to their uh, site down below. If you want some super high quality meats, hit them up. Um, you can find Will hooked underscore on underscore BBQ. On, uh, you're on Instagram. Yep. Where else are you? Um, else? Facebook, or, too. Facebook? Okay, yep. so on Instagram, Facebook, find him. You know where to find me, Captain Ron 302 And Fogo Charcoal, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like what you saw here, you liked any of the products that we used, there's a link down below in the description. Will, what's your overall thing? Did you enjoy being here with us or did, was it just a, the worst experience ever? I think it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I think you, even with this cook, if you cut them in half, yeah. even had a little less steak yep. ratio, I yep. think it would be absolutely perfect. I agree. I'm I agree. definitely gonna try try this again. This yeah. is awesome. So, you really know, good. we live and we learn and we yeah. adapt. So that's, that's, that's how we get better. Experiment at home. Yep. That's how you improve, okay? If you don't like something, that's okay. Learn something from it and then move on. So that's all we got today. So I want to thank you again, Will. It's been an thank absolute you, pleasure having you here. This recipe was fantastic. 
Um, the plancha got really hot and we had to do it, <laughs> but um, it was a lot of fun. So listen, while I got you here, I want you to do one thing. Remember to get out and grill, all right? And we'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life. See you guys.